welcome back to my channel. Now, I know I have the same look in another video, but let's not tell nobody. Which I'm sure a lot of people are gonna notice anyway. But I have a small Ulta haul, and I felt like filming another video today because I had nothing else to do. I have no boyfriend. I have no friends, I have nobody, so I didn't have my dog. So I just decided to film a video. Another one, I already filmed one before this. And it was a Milani um, new matte lipstick, so you guys wanna check that out. I will probably have posted that before this one, so I will link that one down below. I'm wearing one of them, I just threw a gloss over it just to kinda change up the look. But let's get started right away with what I got at Ulta. Now I did pick up my favorite lengthening mascara. It, the telescopic carbon black um this is my all-time favorite now the one i had was drying out so i was like girl i cannot live without this i need it so i picked up two because i never ever ever want to be without this mascara um it's my favorite mascara for lengthening and i definitely believe it lengthens it's kind of like wet when you first get it but if you let it dry for like a week not like leave it open but like you let it dry a little bit it becomes like the best lengthening and like layering mascara ever if you guys don't like to wear falsies i just love this mascara and i've used it for about two years now and i have no so i went kind of like mascara crazy because i was running out of mascara and i picked up some from ulta now they didn't have the one i love which is a plush drama from ulta jet black that is like great for volumizing great for making you look like you got fake lashes so i did receive the one from sugar pop sugar but you know i like to keep my my staple mascaras next to me whether like maybe there's an accident and i lost the other mascara i like to keep my my true loves right in my drawers but they didn't have them so i was like what the fuck go so where where my mascara at um i got amped up lashes i got waterproof and the regular and these are volumizing and um defining mascaras i have not opened them yet i have no idea what they look like but i did op get two of the super stretch fiber mascaras and i'm not that impressed with this one um i'll probably be giving this to somebody else because i didn't really like it maybe somebody else will like it they have like nice looking lashes because my lashes are limp and ugly but maybe somebody else will like this and i will give these away and I i'm gonna try these out next right after i finish my mascara Right after I finish my mascara. The next one I got is the Urban Decay Vice Palette Limited. This I had been seeing for a couple months now, more than a couple months, since Danny from Coffee Break by Danny like hauled it and she said Sephora had only a certain amount. And I was like, oh, I want it. That's why I became VIB Rouge so I could get this true story. I became VIB Rouge just so I could get this my hands on this palette. Um, this palette comes with. The, the same colors every freaking vice palette comes with now these have a lot more sparkle and they're not as pigmented as the vice palettes are but girl my favorite have been chase and sin uh, i just love these colors i want to go rebuy this palette just for those colors uh, i haven't played with all of them but but you know this lime green packaging was like bam buy me now buy me now so i said all right i'm gonna buy you i'm gonna buy you calm down i'm gonna get you um, it comes with 18 exclusive, 5 are new, and 2 are the best sellers. And it comes with a double-ended brush, which I like their brushes a lot. I actually use them for every day. And, um, yeah, it comes with shimmers, mattes, satins, you know, the whole shebang. So, I thought this was a pretty cool palette. And if you guys can get your hands on it, definitely pick it up because... You're gonna regret it because I regret not getting the first Vice palette. I have the first, the second, and the third, and this one, but I don't have the first. And I'm not gonna pay $150 just to complete my. I, I mean, I might, but I'm not gonna do that now. But just get it because you're gonna regret not buying it. Get it now. Okay, enough of my angry spiel. The next thing I wanted to pick up was this NYX highlighting and contouring pro palette now you guys know i'm a big highlighter and contour because i'm a little chubby bunny i have all this to contour and highlight i am wearing my kat von d today because that shit is the bomb but this one came out recently and i bought it online i haven't seen i haven't been to an ultra store so i don't know if it's in stores yet but i did get it online i know it's available online at ulta and on nyx.com nyx.com it costs 25 dollars on ulta.com it costs 30 dollars so i want to definitely do a review for the you guys because if this is this costs $10 cheaper than the Anastasia one. And if you guys are going to just 
get a contour palette and this one sucks. I want to tell you guys, so I should have a review of this um, on my channel already. Um, I'm hoping I get it up before this video. Um, they s there's one thing I don't like and it's they have a shimmery matte, br a shimmery bronzer, which is not something you contour with. You're not going to contour and it's not going to look very natural contouring with the shimmery bronzer. You want to have a matte, straight up matte bronzer and these look a little bit more warmer than what I like. The, um, these do pop out, they pop out of their pan, so I guess they're refillable, but they don't come with a name or anything, so I don't know why you could pop them out. I also did pick up the Naked Skin uh, Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. Now this one smells exactly like the foundation, and I got mine in medium light, I believe. I got it for obviously concealing under my eyes, and I just think it's so freaking cute. It comes in a cute little box. And it looks like a little baby of the foundation, which I thought was... And it has a double-ended doe foot. Like, like... It's double-ended. And it remind, And it smells like the MAC concealer, but it's a little bit... This does blend out very smoothly. I have not tried it yet. Um, but it does give really good coverage. It's what I have on my hands right now. I... I feel like this is a good color for my under eyes. And I just think it's so cute and I I love the foundation. I am completely in love with the foundation. So I think I'm going to be completely in love with this, hopefully. If not, I'll just stick to my MAC one because it's a lot cheaper. This one costs $28. I was like, damn, girl. From NYX, I also picked up their new knockoff of Anastasia's Dip Brow Pomade. These are called Tinted Brow Pomades. Now, the blonde one is spot on exact color of their blonde from Anastasia um, I have the blonde one and they're the exact same color like exact same color so if you guys are looking into buying the Anastasia one I can review these if you want but the blonde one looks exactly like the blonde one from NYX and it comes in a little pot like this um, this one's a plastic pot the Anastasia comes in a glass and this one co comes at 0.18 the other one the Anastasia is 0.14 so you got a little bit more in here but I think these would probably dry out faster just because it does come in like a little plastic jar. So yeah, this one's chocolate and chocolate from NYX and chocolate from Anastasia do not look the same. The chocolate from Anastasia is a lot darker, but this is a chocolate one. It's a little bit more taupey and that's why I picked it out because I, w I like taupey eyebrows. And I like a little bit lighter eyebrows since the ends of my hair are lighter. I don't want too much of a harsh brow. And then this one is um, blonde. And I use blonde for the like inside of my brows. It's this one right here. It's a lot of a, it's very taupey blonde. So if there's a really light hair blonde, you're gonna have to go real, real softly into your brows with this because if not, it's gonna look like you have chola sharpie, eye, sharp, sharpie, sharpie eyebrows. And then the last things I picked up were Nick came out with a bunch of lip products. I was like, damn, overwhelmed. Like, oh my god, which one do I pick? Because I want them all. But I picked up basically the same color but two different formulas. So from the NYX Intense Butter Glosses, they're like their butter glosses but more intense. Um, I picked up Berry Strudel. Strudel, oh, Berry Strudel, it's a purple. And these come with like the double ended, like the Urban Decay, it's like double, you get product on both sides. So you could basically close your mouth and like apply the product. And girl, this is, this is like, damn, pigmented like crazy. These do have a nice smell to them and their lids are like a gunmetal. They're kind of like gunmetal on top. So I like these that they're different. They're the same like bottle as the other ones. The top are different so you guys can distinguish them from each other. The next one I got was Tres Leches and I saw this and I was like, oh, I need it. It's like a nude brown, like, mauve color. This one right here, there was another one that looks like cashmere from Lime Cram. I want to get that one too, but I tried these on my lips and they look really pretty. Just you have to line your lips before you actually use them because if not, they're going to bleed like crazy or get on your teeth and you don't want them on your teeth. So these are it right here. These are the intense butter glosses and these are intense as hell. Then I picked up like basically the same color from the from the other ones. Um, high voltage lipsticks. These are the new lipsticks they came out with. I don't 
know, really like the packaging. It looks like really cheap, but whatever. What really matters is what's inside the, the little thing. The lipstick thing. The lipstick, I don't know. Whatever. So I got number SVLS. I don't think it has a name. Oh, I got twisted. I got twisted. And... It's a, like a more muted purple, so it's a lot more wearable than the berry strudel. It's this one right here. It's like more of a pink purple. And these are very creamy, but yeah, I don't know. I, I like them, but not for like, bam, I'm going to go buy the whole collection. I just I just like them. I like the colors I picked. And then I got um, Flutter Kisses, which is like a mauve -y. has kind of like a beige undertone right here and I really like this one this one looks really nice on the lips because it's more of a brown mauve rather than pink because I like to pull more of a, a brown lipstick on my lips and these are opaque but you will need a lip liner because again they will bleed get all on your teeth and you don't have lipstick teeth so basically that was my Ulta haul I will have my NYX sort of first impressions up very very soon if not before this video even goes up so if you guys like the video remember to give me a thumbs up subscribe share it to everybody you think like hauls or likes Ulta or likes any of these makeup brands just so they can see what how the colors look and I will see you guys all in the very 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 next one bye have you you know I got a little little thighs little big stomach big arms and a lot of double chin so I like to contour my face because Y'all know y'all, 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 I eat a little bit too much sometimes.